check for audio. There we go. All right, here we, all right. Let's get her going. Now, what is up, everyone? I am Tony Francisco, and want to wish you all a happy Halloween. Yes, it is. It is 10:31, 10, 10, no, October the 31st. The, my favorite time of the year, Halloween. And we are going to have some spoopy fun as I prepare to say that this is a way to end my 13 Nights of Madness, this game called Through the Woods. Let's see, I know absolutely nothing about this game. I heard it's pretty good. I got candy. That was a crunch bar. I hope you all have an, uh, I hope you all will have a safe and happy Halloween. I'm sure most of you have plans of trick or treating, passing out candy, going to a party, going to a haunted house. Hanging out with friends, watching a movie. However you want. The point is, you guys enjoy a nice, safe Halloween. Before I pass out candy, I'm going to do this. Western Norway. So, Norway. So, this is Ireland, right? Dude. Dude, boss ass house. I got grass on my roof. Why do I have grass on my roof? Dude, this place is for a spooky game, this is kinda dope. Okay. Um looks um a mother and a kid. I'm gonna go exploring, Mom. Okay. Mother and kid. Okay. Keep away from the pier. It's old. I will. Go crazy, tourist appear. Okay, move. <laughs> okay. Okay, um, don't know where the hell I'm going. Um, I got nothing. Nothing. Okay, that's the car. You know what I mean, I gotta say, for an old school place, for an old PlayStation 4 indie horror game, the graphics are. Uh, oh God, that's water. Oh God, it looks like jelly. Uh, well, I mean, it is a PS4 game, but still, I mean, over. I mean, besides though, my jelly, my river full of jelly. It's actually, the, the effects are actually pretty dope. Okay, yeah, kind of digging this. <clears throat> okay, I have a little clubhouse. Okay. Can't climb. God, what is... I don't have any other controls. I don't think I could go that way. <clears throat> Can I go in the clubhouse?
Read. Missing Dad notes. I used to like. I used to like coming to the cabin better when Mom wasn't so lame. She works all the time and sleeps all day. Hey. Only wait till you, wait till you get older, kid. Then you can talk about uh, parents being lame. When I talk, she's only half listening. Don't know what's up with her. I just want to go home. I miss dad. Like, is dad missing or divorce or? I mean, I don't have a dude, but I mean, could this be an alternate ending for uh, for uh, what's that game called? Uh, it takes two. And also, of course, uh, they have a boy instead of a girl. Right? I mean, I'm just saying, I could be wrong. And I mean, I mean, the mother is a, uh, I mean, I know the mom's a handyman and, <laughs> pardon me, I kind of devoured that candy bar. But at the same time, I mean, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, the dad is somewhat capable, I mean, he's, a, I mean, he is a stay-at-home parent, but still. Ooh, what is that? Can I look at you? Can I pet you? Oh god, look at my face. God, god I don't like your face anymore. Just Okay, what's uh Yeah, seriously, I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Uh okay. Past a jelly looking river. Okay, um, so what if I go? What if I go near this uh, this uh, pier? Like, will uh, will a goblin come out of nowhere? I mean, again, for an old PlayStation Four game, this it's actually not bad. Uh, I mean, I mean, don't go wrong. The, the effects looks dope and everything. Don't get me wrong. I'm just trying to figure where the where the hell I'm going. How you doing, Jill? How you doing? Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. The game does show promise. I just, uh, I just don't know where the hell I'm going. I mean, Mommy told me I could go out and play. I just can't go near the pier. That, ooh, okay. That looks, that looks much better. That looks like a river instead of a gooey-looking jelly flow. I mean, this here, this, that, this actually looks a lot better. Obviously, a different artist. Okay, so bridge, cool. Okay, Joe, you're not wrong. The, j the jacket is pretty dope. You're not wrong. Oop, got seen. Oh, oh, come on! You can't bribe me with pizza. I was about to go on an adventure. Ah, uh, I mean, come on. If anyone's gonna get bribed with pizza by their mothers. That's my job. Only my mother can bribe me with pizza. Ugh, everyone loves a good pizza. Hey, Jill, I did follow the path. Hey, hey for the record, I did follow the path, Jill. I'm just, uh, you know, know absolutely nothing about the game. I'm just saying. Ugh. And this is why I'm a this is why I'm a horrible Boy Scout. Okay, uh hang on. Hang on, where am I? Um, that's kinda the whole point of this uh, whole special, Jill. Um I wanted to get raw reaction as best I could. That gives the uh, best amount. And at the same time, uh, 
you know, like it helps. Uh, you know, like it makes you get a raw uh, feel for the game. You know, like uh, be like, oh, okay. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Uh, but uh, how you been, Joe? How I hope you're having an awesome holiday. I mean, awesome Halloween. Ugh, way too early for early holiday cheer meisters. Uh, let's see. Um, well, let's see. Uh, I helped my parents uh, get their uh, fire going so they can enjoy the uh, fire as the night gets dark and they see spoopy kids. Spooky indeed, and I'm a innocent boy who is about to go inside to a cabin in the middle of nowhere and eat pizza. Yep, the best kind of yep, the best kind of living. Out in the middle of nowhere, and no one will bug you. You get pizza. Ah, uh, I tried everything, Jill. I don't know if I could run. At least not yet. Hello, Lunar Eclipse. How you been? How you been? Happy Halloween. Um, Lunar Eclipse. Uh, I'm gonna assume. Uh, it's, just to be certain, this is Stacy, right? And if this is Stacy, tell Chuck to join in. Okay, okay. So it's already nighttime. It's nighttime. Me and Mom picked out on some awesome uh, double decker deep dish. Delicious meat lovers triple decker combo. Hey mom, wake up. Wake up. You've been asleep all day. Oh god, I have an exit. <sighs> Sorry. Why do you have to stay up so late? You're always tired. Aspen, I came here to work. You were supposed to be with your grandparents this weekend. Sorry. Just let me get some coffee. We'll go night fishing down by the lake or something. Uh. I just wanted to go to the bathroom, but it's dark outside. <laughs> what? Sorry. Go get the flashlight, and I'll come out with you. Oh God, I'm a big, oh, I'm a big baby. Mommy, I need to go. I need to go. We we. Oh, okay. Uh, Stop. press right stick for a flashlight. Yeah. Uh, mama. Mama, open the door for me. Uh, me need to go wee wee for drinking cool aid, yeah. So wait, so am I German, or Sweden, or Swedish or whatever? You coming? I thought you had to go. Uh, I do, just a sec. My God, lady, be patient. You wait right here, don't you? Of course. Hey, I mean, I mean, I did have a dad recently, but he's, you know, nowhere to be found, so you're all I got. Uh, oh, I'm the parent. Hello. What do you want to do tonight? Mom, I'm trying to pee here. Oh my god. We could make some hot chocolate. Hey, hell yeah. Uh, hello, Mimi. How you been? Happy you could join us. Happy Halloween. Go away! Just wait on the path. I can't go while you're standing there. Okay, little man. If you say so. My God, my son's a little bitch. Um. Uh. Maybe. Uh. Maybe. Question. How do you say Happy Halloween in Sweden? I'm kind of curious. All right. You done, Espen? All right. Come here, Espen. Espen, my crybaby boy. Espen? Where is my crap? Where's my whiny little boy? Stop messing around, Espen. I'm not in the mood. Did you fall in? I mean it, Espen. Come out. Huh. Okay. Jesus, Espen. What are you doing? Sorry. I thought I'd see if I could scare you after all. You were getting there. Let's go inside. I don't know if I want to make you hot chocolate anymore. I was only kidding. I'm sorry. <laughs> God. Can we have hot chocolate? Okay. But don't scare me again. And you're washing the cups. Okay. 
<laughs> Ugh. Aww. I'm pretty sure you're not going to find any crabs. It's a freshwater lake. Anyway, the pier's broken and dangerous. Please don't go down there by yourself. But I still want hot chocolate. I'm not going to pretend I was a great mother. When Espen was born, I found, to my surprise, I felt nothing. What? My nightmare had come true, and I was left raising a child I didn't love. My friends became distant, and Espen's father and I began to fight. I resented them both, and one day, Espen and me were alone. But as Espen got older, I slowly began to realize something. I did love him. I loved him so much I ached. He became my best friend, my favorite thing. Then I lost him. We lost each other. And I don't know if I can forgive myself. Or Espen. Espen? Why didn't you wake me up? Espen? Want some breakfast? Or lunch? We have eggs and bacon. Guess he's out playing. Ah, uh, uh, okay. So apparently, um, this woman here—I forget her name. Uh, she's a uh, a workaholic uh, who had some very messed up issu uh, issues. Uh, family drama, very distant. Just a very complex relationship between the mother and the child. Hey, mom, you're always asleep when I wake up. It's really boring. Going out to play. E. E for every time I think of you, you're a bitch! Listen. I loved our room at the cabin. Espen's reflectors looked nice in the sunlight, and his drawings fascinated me. Oh, that's right, that's right. He soaked up the world. Hold on. Fled from his imagination to hold on, hold on. In pastels and pen. Lady, shut up. Process always seemed to distill the harsh world into something pure. Please just shut up. Okay, so from the looks of it, uh, I'm a uh, a architect, workaholic, and of course the kids' drawings got it from me because you know I'm a top-notch boss. All right, so S uh, S Sir Eason or whatever this shit is outside. Aspen. Aspen. That's his name. <sighs> What is he doing out in this cold? Going fishing. Espen? Like a... I hope you're not down by the pier. I told you that thing's dangerous. He he's trying to become a man like his like his Espen? missing daddy. Talk to me, little man. Oh, I think that's I think that's him. I can see this red jacket from a distance. Hey! Hey! Oh okay, now I can run. Jesus. What the hell? Jesus. Espen! Get away from him! Espen, I'm coming! Can I... Uh, oh, I'm swimming! Oh, shit! No! Please! Espen! Espen! Uh, I'm swimming! Like, am Espen? I... Ah! Do I gotta... Do I gotta go by rhythm? Is that how you do it? Uh, oh, this is an intro. Okay. Ah, lady, you gotta be freezing your ass out. You gotta be freezing right now. What is? Okay. Now, at least, now I know the story. 
<laughs> Sorry, kitty's on my lap. How you doing, kitty? Uh, how you doing, kitty? You want to join my stream? Yeah, check it out. Check it out, kitty. I got five viewers. People are watching me. I'm popular. Uh, say hi to the people. I'm trying to... I'm trying to get you guys to hear her uh, purr. Uh, oh, okay, never mind. Stage fright. That's all right. Hope you all having a a good Halloween. Uh, whoa! Look at the ship. Looks like a Viking ship. Oh, do, are, are there gonna be Vikings in this in this game? Okay. Ugh, of course the f Ugh, That's unfortunate. Alright, okay, I can run, I can run now. I'm coming! Even though I never care about you in the beginning, since Espen! you're since you're an adult, we got you be cool. Uh, I thought that was something at first. Dude, I'm, I'm kind of digging the music. Uh, is that a no? It's not a thing. Story like a map mode, or am I? Did I miss something? Was did I miss something? I'm expecting spooky shit. Well, I kind of call it. A, there is something spooky in, in in these in them in these woods, but um, apparently, some it's something that could actually happen to us, um, to all the parents out there, Ugh. or. Fur parents, if the guy, if you don't want your dogs kidnapped. Uh. That's a nice. That's for, uh, that, that, well, that water looks a little better. Yeah, it looks a little better. Um, uh, I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong, Mimi. I mean, yeah, it's about a female protagonist, but uh, um. I mean, all I know is uh, Laura Croft is a badass uh, archaeologist uh, lady, and she's not afraid to use a gun, and knows a lot of crazy stuff. I don't know about our uh, work. I don't know about a our uh, our architecture or mother. Where the fuck am I going? Uh, oh, stairs. Open. Oh, the surroundings. Oh. Aspen! Okay, you're right. I can see that. I mean, I mean, far as I, I mean, far as far as I know, Laura could uh, could have fought some Vikings in her, game, in her games. But yeah, you're not wrong. The environmental work here is pretty dope. I like it a lot. I give him kudos for that. I'm in a fort. Hello. It's a village. Hey, is someone there? Hello, I need assistance. My son has been abducted. Dude, not bad of a villager. Shit, I kind of want a village like that. Can you use flashlight? Oh, dude! I got a. I mean, uh, I don't know. It's kind. Looks kind of rusty. Maybe the hook. I don't know. Like, get out of my way. Okay, this is for. Uh, this is where I came from. So I'll check these houses. Uh, 
I'm exploring the shit out of this place. Uh, how's everyone doing? How's chat? Uh, what are you What are you planning? What do you guys What do you guys got planned for Halloween? Still can't use flashlight. Let's see. A bed, an oven, a kitchen table. If I were to have a guest over, this seems affordable for my kind of area to move out. Seems about it. Seems nice. Seems nice. Okay, these houses are good. Uh... I don't know what these are. Don't know what those are. All right, so I don't know if I checked. What? Oh, I, I never. I never. I never checked this one out. What? What is this? And. There we go. Let me out. I mean, definitely doesn't seem like a horror type of game, but definitely not bad. I mean, real horror. I mean, real horror. I mean, <laughs> sorry, real horror. <laughs> God, but uh, real horror stuff. Uh, you know, having your uh, child abducted. Yeah, that's a bit of a nightmare. I mean, nobody wants that. Nobody wants that, right? Ooh, that looks that looks valuable. No, but I can read something. Old Eric. The old bastard came to the village uh, yester yester eve, yester eve. <laughs> the craven Horson took Ragar's boy away. The bastard. No one saw him come, though we saw a watch some weeks ago. The boy didn't make a sound. The wretched thing. We all are mind to go up there at last and put an end to this, but for the gates, the cursed gates won't open to those such as us. All's all's we can do is buy and hope Rhaegar's boy as was the last the corruption of the man. His heart, if he has one, must be rotted as a month month dead swine. And our guides do nothing. A curse on the whole festering pile on them, and curse on the murdering bastard Eric. Okay. Bit of a story. Eric. Is he the guy who took my boy? There was a folk tale in the town where I was born about a man called Old Eric. They said he would sneak into the village at night and steal away children who misbehaved. Mm -hmm. My parents used to tell me that I had to be good or Old Eric would come and take me. At the time, it didn't even cross my mind that the person in the journal could be the same man from the folk tales. But later... Later, I wasn't so sure. Hmm. Sorry, I got caught up in the story. So, this Eric sounds like a prime suspect for this little investigation. <laughs> Ding dong! Okay. Definitely a nice even though I was, even though it's destroyed, it's actually still pretty nice. Nothing here seems valuable. I 
I don't know what is going on here. Right, screw it. I'm going to I'm going to check that house out. This is Espen's. He must have dropped it. I'm coming, Espen. All his reflectors. Gimme my boy. Okay, so uh, Espen left trails, so that actually helps. I mean, depends on how long I find this. Is that wait, is that one of them? No, no, that's uh, Leaf. No, no, I mean, whoa, oh. Uh, my stay. I don't know. I see more buildings. Let's check it out. Espen! They can't be far ahead. They look pretty far ahead. Oh, that's pleasant. Sounds like a storm, but nothing's happening. Pretty realistic. Shit. Looks like the old bastard pulled the bridge across. Too far to jump. I'll have to go down. Uh, Eric, you sneaky bastard. I must find another way around this obstacle if I'm gonna win back my son and fix up my messed up relationship okay here we go still I'm loving the environmental work oh, that's Espen's flashlight and oh this jacket he's gone too far Okay, it's getting real. It's getting real. That's a happy anniversary to you and Chuck. I'm happy you guys have been married for... Uh, I hope you guys... What is... No, oh, this is loading. Okay, no, I'm still the mummy. Espen must be cold without his jacket. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do a freezing... I saw Espen's jacket there on the ground. It felt like something inside me Oh, yeah. I suddenly realized that this was really happening. He had been taken from me. Whoa, whoa, what's on this movie? What is that? His coat. His little coat lying in that dark place. I was his mother. I was supposed to protect him. He trusted me, and I let him down. No, the so kid. So many times before. His jacket was a symbol of my failure. I 
Not, I don't mean to be a douche, but, uh, wrong. She, uh, he got bored and left you. I think it was bored because you were snoozing and stuff. And so, basically, basically, it's his fault he got, he got abducted by the, uh, creeper known as Eric. But, nevertheless, uh, let's find our dumbass kid. Uh, looks like I got infinite battery. That's fortunate. Okay, I'm lost. Can I... Nope. Uh, I gotta find another path. see uh, did I miss a turn or something or okay it's definitely dark I mean I'll admit it's definitely getting good now guess it's in a minute for the story to develop I don't think I can go in there, I guess. God. Mm. God. God. It's easy to get lost in, this, in these woods. I'm just looking. I'm, I'm looking so things can happen. stuff to happen. Uh, plus, uh, uh, plus, I bought some candy for trick-or-treating. I mean, yeah, after this, yeah, after this, yeah, after the stream, uh, I'm gonna join the folks, and, uh, we're just gonna, you know, chill in the bonfire, be all like, hey, how's it going, and everything, and pass us some candy, and just, uh, just relax. Yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. I mean, uh, Le I mean, last year's Halloween, I felt like a, I felt like a champ. Are you guys in? Are you ready for a little Halloween story? Bas it actually happened. We're in these woods, so I figure why not? Let's pass up. Let's let's have a little tale. Uh, it was last year. Um, for Halloween, I was off for it was a uh, a Saturday, I think. Hmm, I'm lost. Uh, but anyways, uh, it was early in, uh, it was early in the morning that day, like around, uh, 9 a.m. I was walking my dog. All of a sudden, on the side of the curve on the house I was about to pass, I see a box, but... It was a box full of Nerf guns. I took a minute to look at it and be like, uh, okay. Is this really real? Are they actual Nerf guns? I checked the box. Uh, they're all full of Nerf guns. Nerf guns, bullets... Toy sword. Oh my god! I'm lost. Uh, but anyways, uh, I... When I saw the toys, whatever, I ran up to the house. And I'm like, hey, are you legitimately giving away these Nerf guns? He's like, yeah, if you want to go ahead. Uh, the minute that happened, I told my dog to race me back to my house. It wasn't that far. It, 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 it wasn't that far. Uh, I grabbed my keys. I grabbed my wallet. I immediately hauled ass to that house. I grabbed the box. I shoved it into my car. I brought it back home, and I just 
I just, I just loved it. It gets better. It gets better. It gets better because um, later that night, I notice I do have a lot, and I'm like, hmm. And I didn't pay for all of them because you know I got them all for free. I'm like, yeah, you know, why the hell not? Ooh, you got a thing. What is this? Thursunic. That dude with the big nose and what the hell am I? Never passed that one, so it looks like I'm on the right track. Uh, uh, but anyways, uh, anyways, like, uh, I was out there for a while, and we were getting quite a lot of kids, so I was like, hey, you know what, the next couple kids will come by, I'm gonna give them a Nerf gun. And I gave, let's see, the only problem when I, uh, noticed when I started messing with the guns, they all, most of them don't exactly work, but I'm sure the parents, and, I'm sure the kids and the parents don't seem to care. So, anyways, uh, I gave a few a few nerf guns away. Ooh, torch. Uh, long story short, I gave some uh, nerf guns to a couple of the kids while they were trick or treating. Dude, that's a dope ass. That's a dope ass render. Anyways, but yeah, I made a lot of kids happy. It was nice. Gave away some Nerf guns. The parents, the parents, were like, oh my god, thank I you. Know it sounds, but it's <sighs> true. All of it's true. I can't explain it. I can hardly believe it, but it happened. The moon. When I was young, I found some photos of my parents in an old shoebox at their house. I was looking for Christmas presents. They looked so young and in love before I was born. I remember they didn't look like the people I thought I knew. There was something different about them I couldn't understand. I was lifting a veil, and I knew these pictures were not for my eyes. The island was like that. The journals, the trolls, the broken moon, I wasn't supposed to see those things. I was intruding on something secret, and I didn't belong there. Okay, so, um... Ugh, yeah, that's, that sounds like a, that, like a nightmare. Oh, I see something. I see a house. What's up? What's that with the eyes? It's probably best if I don't mess with it. Let's explore the house. What the hell? Okay. Oh, what was that? Ha! Ah, I see you, little shit. Get over here. Ah, damn it! I lost you. Ooh. Another place for me to investigate. Nothing I could grab. So far I haven't gotten anything. No notes, no 
Weapons? No, nothing. I'm just armed with a flashlight and I got infinite battery and sprint. Definitely some freaking shit. Let's check the house again. Oh, reading material. Uh, no kin. This, uh, this sad no kin lurks in the waters near here. Can't say I've seen one for such fa uh, fanc fanciful stories for yester eve. Saw a small uh, grassy hill uh, resting on the w in the water. The lake's usually smooth as glass. So I read my eyes and looked again and by the gods I, sw I swear I saw a pair of eyes staring out at me through the triangle. Uh, Natkin. I blinked, but the hillock was gone with uh, with with a ripple. I shuddered and bent back to me back to me work, but then but then but then there comes a bubbling in the waters right near the shore, and a clump of weedy uh, dendrils dripping mud came searching from the lake. I sprinted away from my cabin, gibbering, thinking what what kind of ghastly creature might follow these weedy fingers. And what do I have an accent? Uh, D said you can rid yourself of no kin if you speak his name. The thought that something could give a creature like that a name is enough to drive me mad. Okay, so whatever the hell was in the water, I witnessed say uh, Nekin. Okay, so house has been explored. Fuck, let's go back. Let's check it out. I want to look at it. Hey, bro. Want to want to chat for a minute? Um, you there, bro? Wait, wait. Is that even him? That was just rocks. Maybe I just didn't notice it at first. Aww, I want to see the neckin. Aww, it's kind of adorable. <coughs> oh, there's another reflector. Where? This pillow. You're alive. Don't be scared. Squirrel! I'm coming. Sorry, that's kind of cool, actually. Kind of a good shot. Let me see. Uh, oh, oh, the nude man. So it wasn't the uh, kraken-looking creature and the or the Loch Ness monster thingy in the water, right? So is that is that another name for the guy who uh, abducted my boy? Uh, Eric or Eric, aka the nude man. Hmm, I didn't know that. That's kind of cool. Uh, for the people who are wondering, I'm in Western Norway, and this is a messed up place. Oh, I can read this. Oh, I found a text. The water, the water, something in the water. No shit, I figured that out. This is a house. Let's explore it. Brothers, I found it. I found a wedge. Where 
where is the drama coming from? Oh, dude, what is happening? Wait, 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 am I going back? I'm not even sure. I mean, I think that's his, uh, his squirrel. Yeah, I'm going backwards. That's his, uh, squirrel reflector. Uh, I was expecting a lot more fear in this game, but sorry, I mean, this is just more like a, uh, like a free roam thriller exploration kind of game. Found a thingy. I mean, oh, I mean, knowing my friend Jill, she would have quit in a heartbeat. Hello. But Hello. I have patience. Hello. Ah. Hello. Fuck that. Read. To Ingrid. Ingrid, my darling, I've done something terrible, and I have shamed ye and myself. I wanted to fight for ye and make ye safe. I know this was a foolish notion, and your father solid true. Set out to try to stop old Eric afore he could c come to claim ye, but ye de meant to stop me. I cut him. I cut his neck, and he bled out. I can't remember. I can't wait here for Eric to take ye. I can't. I know I'll never earn forgiveness from ye or the gods. Mm. Pardon me. But I'm leaving. Don't be scared, my little girl. My sweet girl. And don't ye search for me. Mayhaps ye long we raise the sails and join your father upon the lovely ocean once more. But they were here. I heard them. So those were the voices. It just happened in my head. Definitely a good story. I'm gonna ignore that. Whoa. Creepy music's not a good thing. Why was there a creepy ass music? I want to enjoy the scenery before I rescue my boy. Oh, cutscene! And it's only, uh, how long have I been doing this? Oh, I'm doing alright, I'm doing alright. Okay. Okay, from the looks of it, I think I'm doing alright. Another candle. When Espen was younger, his father did something terrible. What? To Espen, <laughs> to me, to himself. I was left all alone with a child I couldn't confide in. He didn't give me the chance to say I was sorry, and I never forgave him. But in the forest, I was alone again. Desperate for the person I loved the most. And right then, I could almost understand why Espen's father did what he did. What? 
Is there some sort of weird connection to this weird place? God, this is a dark... Dude, this story is... I don't know what's darker this fourth or the whole story. God, this is dark. But I'm definitely digging the tail. Good to see. Okay, that's a dead end. God, she's got some serious lungs if she could run for this long. Alright, let's see, let's see. Alright, um... Alright, I'm making a circle. Okay, um... Where else can I go? It looks like I can only go that way. I think I already went that way. I think I went that way. What's going on? What is going on? I heard... I heard moaning. Definitely not my moaning. I'm trying to find a moaning guy. Where is he? How do I find anything in this crazy ass forest? God, what the hell's happening? Alright, so okay, um I'm trying to figure out what the shit is this. Okay, something tells me the moaning man is uh next part of the game. I just gotta find him and um I don't know, poke him. Oh I don't think I saw this path. Nope, this is a new path. This looks like a new path. This should be the. This must be the path. Oh, fire! Fire! Oh, that's a sign. Okay, um. Definitely on the right track. What the hell? What are you? Hi, whoa, hi, hi, whoa. Hi, what's up? Okay. Okay, well, uh, now that, now, now, good to know I got something to worry about. Like a giant troll looking dude who wants to offer my blood a. I don't know.
Okay, well, okay, well, it looks like I finally found the uh, horror element. Ah, uh, okay, so... Um... How do I? F nah, come on, man! I, had, uh, come on, uh, I literally found that path by luck. Can I? Oop! Pick up. Uh, forest fog, Niflung, a mist children. Left out in the deep of the woods, far away from Eric's reach. Taken by something else, black marks appearing to be tar can be found on the cloth. Most likely taken by, uh, Hodra to live with the Hodra people. Okay, um... Okay, so I got... Okay, so not all dead ends are dead ends. Okay. And I know what's going on with Moni Man. Alright, there it is. There's the path. Okay, so I just got to avoid this dude. Yeah, I can do that. I, get, I totally got this. Anyway. Anything, anything I can use, like a, like a shotgun or something. Question: How do I, how do I get past that giant oversized douche nozzle? Just sneak around. Don't shine your light on him. Ah, shit, run away. Oh, uh, run away. Okay, I think I'm safe from that dude. I don't see him. However, I heard thumping, so it's probably best if I just keep running. I see gates. Am I back in the village? That one's lit. Let me in. Damn, where is my son? The children are gone, Eric. All gone. I'm not Eric. I think he has my son. Who is he? What's he going to do? If Eric has your son, Oldra, there'd be no hope for him. Now get you from my door. Get the fuck off, you loosh. <laughs> uh, what the? Hey, what a quick! God, these people are fucking nuts. Store, store. The story is definitely dark. I'm definitely digging this. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, there's water, but yeah, why should I save him? Poor guy, poor us, poor your kid. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, unfortunately, I do remember that movie. And I'm sorry, I don't know why. I am honestly not too crazy about that movie. Uh, certain things in that movie, that's, it just made me, it made me kind of angry. Uh, I mean, it's only the second film made by uh, Ari Esther. He directed Midsummer. He also directed uh, Hereditary. That's actually one of my favorite horror movies. Ah, oh, don't quote Midsummer to me. Don't qu don't you dare quote that. Whoa, who's that dude? Uh, what the, what the, what the, what the, Santa? <sighs> Eric, what's up, my dude? Happy Halloween, dude. Happy, ha happy holiday, my bro. Um, the story of this game is dark as balls. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, a lot of weird shit went down, that's for sure. Oop, wait, I see... Nothing. Ah, uh, dude, I don't know what the hell to do. Anything in this house? Yep, smells like ass. Come on, there's gotta be more to it. There's gotta be more to it in this house. Nope, just like earlier. Okay, guess I'm back out here. Uh, anyone mind uh, pointing fingers of where I should go? Like, should I uh, should I keep going deep into the village or ooh, Forsberg? Love the graphics. Plus, I think I got past uh, the giant troll thingy. So I think it's safe for me to keep going. I don't know where the hell I'm going. I'm this. That's moaning. That means creepy big dude is nearby. <sighs> um. Ooh. 
I this seems familiar. Okay. That means if memory serves. You see out here. Okay, I mean, last time I came around this area, the big dude was like right in front of me and he practically gobbled my ass up. <clears throat> I guess looks like it's safe for me to keep running. Wait, wait. Did I just find the wrong way? Yeah, I somehow did. God, it's, it's easy to get lost in this world. Oh, shit. I should probably go that way. Yeah, fuck you too, buddy. So I saw it as a circle, I guess. Ooh, I see a house. Let's check it out. Get up there. Come on, I know I saw a house out there. That's where crazy guy burned his house. Oh God, I'm fucking lost. Okay, so I guess I guess I do need to go that way. <coughs> Is that giant dude uh, like a way to tell you where to go? Morning is so clear. Oh shit, he's over there. <sighs> fuck it, I'm gonna punch it. Hey, fuck you. Dude, I just gave this dude the middle finger. Hey, what's up, bro? Oh, dear God, you're horrifying. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Dude, I just outsmarted this dude. Oh, God, that was scary. Oh, God. Yeah, I don't know where else I can look. I, I searched this whole place. Uh. Well, uh, not the amount of fear I expect from this game. I mean, it's there, just uh, not how I expect it.
hell's that all about? That looks like a path. Ugh, what the shit is this? Oh, yeah. Uh, yep, there it is, guys. The broken moon. Oh, I mean, I gotta be honest, that is a pretty good shot. If I could get my, if I could get a good picture of, uh, my creepy little friend and I, I want that to be my thumbnail. Oh, let me see, let me see if I can find him. Oh, God, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta wrap this up soon. Ugh. Time to, uh, enjoy Halloween and pass out candy. I envy those little kids. Uh, Vera, what's up, my dude? Uh, well, you definitely missed, uh, quite a bit. I started a little, uh, earlier today. Well, because, um, I started early because it's the last, uh, Halloween night. And, by the way, I don't know if you do Halloween in Brazil. Happy Halloween, my dude. Ah, uh, how you been? What is that with that weird noise? What is this? Something's bright out there. Okay, this looks vaguely familiar. Sounds terrifying. Oh, I heard a moaning. It's definitely nearby. Oh, shit. Yeah. Hey, what's up, bro? See ya! Ah, I suck it! I'm going the other way! Uh, I'm dead. Well, I'm dead. Uh, I mean, I definitely try. I don't know where else I can search. Uh, but I am happy to say I gave this game a, a pretty. Uh, I definitely gave this game a game a good try. Uh too late. I already challenged the thing. The. Uh I mean, a lot definitely happened. A lot of crazy stuff. Uh, definitely read up some uh, good history in the game. Uh, uh, this wasn't the game I had planned, but definitely gave me a pretty decent uh, finale for my 13 Nights of, 13 Nights of Madness. Uh, I am definitely planning on uh, doing uh, this again for sure next year. I definitely got some uh, scarier games uh, once I get my PC working. 
Once I get it working, then that means that I'll have access and more opportunities to find even more scary games, and not just on my uh, PlayStation. And that means that uh, you all can even see me on a cam, whatever. Go Mr. Markiplier on this shit, you know what I mean? But, thank you so much for watching. This was definitely an experience. Me playing 13 different indie horror games. I definitely had a lot of setbacks. And I know it will be after... And I know how long it will be over tomorrow, but I'm going to upload uh, my uh, two best favorite horror movie stuff for my YouTube channel. If you want to check it out, please go ahead. Just give me some decent critique, if you all could. But everyone, happy Halloween. We all just endured my 13 nights of madness. Happy Halloween. Stay safe. I am Tony Francisco. Until next time.